All right, here's the observatory. This is a slide lid, plastic shed. I think it's by uh, Rubbermaid. Or Suncoast, but I had to modify this one a little bit. Here's the back of it. Here's the rails, the V-Track rails. I still might put a brace between these two, but right now everything is very solid. I mean, it doesn't even move. Post mounts for like four by fours. I just put two two by fours in them and they're like, this part is like, I think it's 18 or 24 inches long. I just nailed it in about one foot into the ground. It's already tight enough as it is. These are the V-Tracks I got off of, um, Amazon with the casters on the inside. And I put weatherproof stripping all around the gap right here. It goes all around it. And to keep moisture or bugs or things out, I put like, cut the um, weather stripping right here into like little tails right here. And that keeps it out pretty good. This is a solar panel that I put on here with two exhaust fans to take out any extra humidity and stuff like that. I put a clip of that, I'll put a clip of that video in here, you can see how it is. Here's the side. And these little eye hooks I put here so that if it's ever windy when you slide everything back, I got a little bungee just connects onto here to um, a little screw like on each side. It's like a screw. All right, let me open it up. And this deck right here I built. Uh, I use deck boards, everything's pressure treated. And I try my best to level it out with these leveling feet and everything. Well, let me open up the inside. Inside, this is my Celestron 8SC sitting in here with the 80 millimeter Orion Short 280 guide scope. This is a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount, and that's where my laptop goes. And let me just go ahead and slide the first part back. I'm trying to do this with one hand. See how the casters right here just roll them back. And let me show you the side of it, um, how it looks with it rolled back. Just gonna lift up these uh, weather strip, you can see the casters under here. And this eyeball could just hook one with a bungee. Around here, if it's really hot, I mean, if it's really windy or anything, but. The weight of this roof, I don't think, and I don't image when it's windy, so I probably have to worry about that. But I'm thinking pretty good as far as weight and everything. And up here at the top, since I had to cut the top of this down, I, I put um, HVAC tape to seal up the uh, the hole that was through here, like the gap and everything. And same thing on the side right here, I put uh, HVAC tape to seal it up. And as far as my legs, what I did to save space was I cut holes into the deck this under here and the actual shed and my pavers are still on the ground under there so that if I need to take the tripod out and usually when Jupiter and Saturn come around I shoot that from my driveway I get the longest viewing time just because of the position in the sky so I can just lift the whole tripod out and go image in the front and if it's a bad storm or something like something like a hurricane I'll just take the whole mountain everything out of here and just lift it out but this is how it looks with everything on the inside. And these bungees right here, what I did was these hook to the uh, ceiling on the inside when everything is closed up and I should keep from lifting up or anything. Here's the solar exhaust fans right here. I'm still gonna fill in these gaps so that no wasp or anything will come in here and build nests or anything inside of the walls because that can't happen. And inside of here, I just have like a little wide Panto camera mounted right there. Power just comes up from the ground, from power cord from the house, and power strip, 
And this is a small uh, heating rod that people can put in gun safes right here. Something like this big. It stays warm, it pulls I think maybe 20 watts of electricity. And what it does was, is when, um, when I finish imaging, I put my cover over top of everything. And since you got the ground right here, humidity from the ground could come up moisture. This should help reduce some of the humidity on the inside of that cover as it's being stored. And I could tell because I have a remote, um, one of these Accurite temperature humidity uh, sensors in here and then bases in the house. But this is how it looks on the inside. It's pretty small, but it's, it works for me. It works perfect for me. So I could just unlock the scope, tilt up, and connect my cables. The laptop goes in here. And that's basically it.